Are you fucking with King Simba? I don't care what you think, podcast. Shout out to them. Shout out Brian. Shout out Ray. Thank you for having me, man. Appreciate y'all. Yo, welcome to the I Don't Care What You Think pod. We got a special guest in the house today. We got the one and only. It's Big Simba, man. Big Simba, man. Yeah, you you feel me? Hey, nah, you good. You straight, you straight, you straight. Yeah, man. King Simba in the fucking building, I man. Let me, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me put out a big disclaimer, man. <laughs> big Simba jumped the line before a lot of niggas, man. And he jumped the line before a lot of niggas, man, because... When you understand the platform and you respect the platform and you reach out to the platform, the platform make moves to move around you. Mm-hmm. You feel what I'm saying? So no matter what he was getting done, no matter what, this was his date, no matter what, this was his time. Respectfully. So one thing I got to say to you is, was music always in the plans? Nah, it wasn't. So what was the original plans? Basketball. Just like yeah. any other. <laughs> I know it sounds, you feel me, cliche. I know nah, it sounds. Nah, sports, but you feel me? That's what it was, man. Like, like growing up, like, I'm not going to sit here and, and downplay my mother. Hell no. She did the best she could, single mother. But it was so much she could do, you feel me? Yeah. So I wasn't exposed to, like, a lot of shit li- living in the hood, you feel me? So all I had was sports, was basketball and shit. So I was playing that. Um, I did volleyball, just sports in general. And I say like around 2015, 2016, started doing music. Started doing music. Yeah. So like, what would you say, what, what, what would you say was the point that made you take music like really serious? Shit, recently, bro. Like the past, like the past two years, to be honest, the past two years, I just, I don't know. I just got that, that, that push out of nowhere, like, yo, I got to do something, you feel me? Like, it really came from my boy World. Shout out World, you feel me? Like, I met World through my boy Texas. Shout out Tex. They, we, we did something, like, my man's had a, had a party on PA. And Texas said, yo, I'm going to shoot a video out there. And World, you know, shoots videos. So he came out there with World. And we was just in a living room, drunk, you know, turning up and shit. We was playing our music. Then I played my music, and where it was like, yo, you got something, yo. Like, I fucks with your shit, yo. Like, whenever, like, I was playing some unreleased shit. He said, yo, yeah. whenever you want to shoot a video to this, let's shoot it. You feel what I'm saying? Like, it's on me type shit. Like, I really believe in your shit. So, like, ever since then, it's like, even be- a little before then, but that was, that point right there was like, nah, I got it. You feel me? I got to keep going, bro. Like, niggas out there believe in me and shit type shit. Like, they believe, like, you feel me? What I could do, so. So he gave you that push. That, that push, was, yeah. So, but I've been so so so. Your, your style of music. What made you? What made you take that route with rap and not? Because you know, there's many different styles of rap. It's too you got many. Your, you got your deep thought rappers. You got your niggas just be making up names at this point. You feel what like, I'm saying? Like, like <laughs> even though you got your conscious rappers, your drill rappers, and yeah, I, the new shit with the club music. Like I like Yo, like what made you? <laughs> you got the club. You got. It's a whole bunch of shit, bro. But my category, I don't know what I'll put myself in because I, I really make a lot of music. I make all types of shit. Like, I'll say, like, what would you say? You feel me? I would say you are, it's like a balance. Like, you're in between drill mm-hmm. and you're in between. Like the struggle, but it's not more of the other. Mm, like I heard that before. Yeah, so like you take it, you take it as an example. You take a nigga like Meek Mill. I look at Meek Mill music, like struggle rap. Like yeah, yeah he do party anthems, but when you go to them die hard fans of his, they bring up shit that's like that hit home. You yeah, feel me? you like, get what I'm saying. But then you got some niggas like the New York niggas, like Favi and all of them. They do all the drill shit. They do the other shit that's too. Like, that's like party drill. It is, party but drill. but but then I right, I right, there's a better way to do it. Then you go to Chicago, and on one hand you got Chicago rappers that like Vic Mensa and Chance the Rapper. Oh yeah. I forgot, I forgot then you got your Chicago. then you got your then you got your drill side of Chicago. Yeah. It so it's like it's like a it's like a balance like your balance like that like yo know what I mean I want to do some drill shit but I also want you to feel it. Yeah. I, I fucks with that. I fucks with that. Like, I, yeah, I say that about myself. Yeah, like 
with my music, like, you said the drill shit. Yeah, I talk about that shit too. But like a lot of times, I'm trying to get a message through. You feel me? Right. That's where it goes back to like the struggle shit. Like I'm trying to get a message through. I'm trying to let my fans know, like, just inform them on on something, whether it be something with the streets, something within yourself, like emotional. Like I'm trying to attack something that'll make that'll uplift them. Like you feel what I'm saying that'll push them to do better. You know. So that's that's. Well, I, I fit myself in that like drill, and the like in between, like you said, yeah. I could get melodic sometimes. Some I got some R and B shit. I got some R and B club shit. You feel me? That's what I'm saying. Like I I can't put me in one box. Like, all right. So if you if you could be honest with yourself, mm -hmm. as you asked me what I thought, if you could be honest with yourself, what do you feel you missing, or do you just feel like it just need to be polished? Marketing. Marketing? Marketing, all right. That, that's that's a that's a that's that's an honest answer because, Marketing. yo, with me, like even with this podcast, yo, every you speak to Ray every three months, it's something I'd be like, yo, we missing. Mm -hmm. Like this shit started with one light. And I'm but like, yo, we need that's, more. That's good though, cause you learning, you getting better. You 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 feel what I'm saying you making this shit like better than what it was. You feel what I'm saying you peeping out the weaknesses rather than just staying stagnant and just be like. All right, this is it. This will be you feel me? Nah, you, you you like nah. This we got work on this. We got work on this. Let's you feel what I'm saying? So at this point in your career, and at, how long you been doing the music? Well, how long you been taking it serious? Not how long you been doing? Like two, three years. Serious. Two, so two, three years you been serious. Serious. So therefore, you can answer this: What's your favorite song from you? Damn. <laughs> <laughs> I know I got some hits personally for myself, but me and Tex got some shit, boy. Me and Tex got some shit. But right now, my favorite, my favorite track is two. And okay. they're with they're with Texas. Okay. We didn't release them. It's called it's two. It's called Links. One called Links. They they coming soon. We 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 trying to put something together for Valentine's Day in February. So one of them, like, it's something for the females. One of them called Lynx. One of them called I Do. They're my, they're my two right there. Give me a two. So why those the two you pick? I was going through when I was making them shits, yo. And then, you know, when you going through it, that's when you make the best music. You feel yeah. me? So that's that's why, like, I was going through it. And I was just saying some real ass shit. Texas saying some real ass shit. The beat's hard. It just, everything just went perfectly together. Like, I can't wait. Both them shits is getting like a video. We might put like a little short film together just for them two songs. That's how crazy they are. So who who influences King Simba to cool. make music? Not necessarily the style, just the yo, this make me wanna try my hand at rapping. Fuck it. I mean, I grew up listening to I'm an old school nigga, you feel what I'm saying? I'm twenty six. Okay. So I listen to a lot of new heads, but I grew up on Kanye, Drake, Wayne, who else? Yo, a lot of niggas don't know this, yo. Because I'm a down south nigga, too. I was back every summer. I'm down south. So. Okay. Hey, yo, my first my first album I ever brought, I'm like, yo, these niggas is hard. Like, y'all going to be crazy. Y'all going to be like, what the fuck? Them franchise boys. Remember them niggas? <laughs> yeah. That was my I first. I never owned the album, man. Yo, that was my first fucking album I ever bought when I was a kid, bro. But when you when you down, it's understandable because my brother, my brother went out to Oakland or whatever, and he stayed with my aunt or whatever. Like, he was living out there. Yeah. Yo, when he came back, um, remember E-40 tell me when to go? He had the whole album tell Yeah, you? he had that. We ain't even going to get into that <laughs> conversation. You remember that song, all right? Yeah, I remember the you remember song. You remember the nigga that was on the song with E-40? That was like whispering? The Yang Yang Twins? Nah, that was, his name was Keek the Sneak. Nah. That's the nigga that's on the song. That's why you said Yang Yang Twins. The nigga that's on the song name is Keek the Sneak. Uh-huh. Out there? Oh, Keek, Keek the that nigga. Keek the Sneak, that nigga. My brother put that shit back. I'm like, man, take that shit back to Oakland. <laughs> no way. Yeah, he this... was like, ah, Bro, it was I'm the like, same way with the them franchise boys. That? It was the same way. When I was up here bumping that shit, I'm like, what the fuck? You got the whole album? <laughs> I got the whole album. You got the whole album. I'm like, yeah, My listen, nigga listen, had listen the to this whole track. Spell. Listen. <laughs> They that what was that song? Oh, I think they like. <laughs> I'll tell them niggas. That's not their only hit. Listen, listen to track six. They they did have a joint bobblehead. 
That bro. was my shit by them niggas. Them niggas bro. was crazy, bro. They got a couple heads, bro. The, the, the bobblehead shit was my shit. I ain't gonna lie. But Chain nah. swinging. I, they, I know this. You feel me? Like, But people, you, you right, though, because people look at that shit and be like, yo, you listen to that? And it's like, yo, you don't know how they look at us. Like, mm-hmm. my cousin went to a family reunion in Alabama. Yeah. He came back like, yo, the arguing I was doing with niggas who... Couldn't believe we think Jay Z the goat was crazy. Like he was like, "Yo, I'm down there at the cookout. We the only up north family from Bama." He like, "Yo, they looking at me like what? Little Boosie, you smoked that nigga." And I'm like, "What?" Boosie. <laughs> he said, "I ain't got no beef with Boosie, but better than Hov." He said. Nah. He said they hopped off the plane. They went to the hood. Every mom, everybody is playing Boosie in Alabama. Yeah. And he was like, he was just sitting there. He like he on the radio like. Yo, they don't play none of our shit. It was just Boosie all fucking day. Like, he was Drake. He had that shit on lockdown then. <laughs> and he was like, when they asked him, like, yo, who you listen to? And he was like, man, Jay-Z. It was like, Jay-Z ass. I was like, yo, what? He said Alabama think play, that nigga ass, Play bro. all the blueprints. Play all, <laughs> play all the blueprints. They, they, they listen, Three to be specific. They listen to them like we listen to them. Yeah. The only Jay-Z they knew was like that, that shit that everybody know. But when he was trying to play that other jet, like them niggas ain't never had imaginary players. Nah, they, they just know the shit that, shit that was on the on the billboards yeah, and shit. They, they don't know like yeah, shit. the real yeah. shit. Like he was like, yo, wasn't no winning, bro. I listen to Boosie every day for a fucking week, bro. That's all they fucking. With. That's some country niggas I never some... heard of before that never blew up. That's like right now you go down south, like Atlanta and shit. They don't listen to niggas from up north. They listen to straight Gucci, mm-hmm. Future. Doug, Gunna, like them niggas, they got shit on lock. Like that's the environment. Yeah, bro. like we got social media, but when you go to other places, it's really a different world, bro. It's really a different world. That's a different. It's a different world. It's crazy, and it's kind of scary. Yeah, yeah. Like when you think about that shit, and you sit there and you be like, "Yo, all this time I thought this nigga was a fly ass rapper." But this, this the argument I used to have with Ray. He was big on pop smoke. Love pop smoke. Most niggas did. I was like, yo, but I was all, I was, yeah. but I told him I was like, yo, that fame, look how it looked, cause we're in his area. Yeah. It, I'm not saying he not lit somewhere else, but he ain't that. Like I got a boy in Ohio, he did the pod with us, like he did it through the phone, and he told him he was like, yo, they don't play pop smoke in Ohio, son. He said when I came back to Jersey to visit y'all for the holidays. He said, yo, that shit y'all was playing. He said I got back to Ohio, one no five you on the radio, bro. Yo, Ohio is like a. <laughs> It's a it's a it's a place that is like from a different world type. I swear to God, bro, I had a show. I had a show out in Pittsburgh. You know they they right there by each other. So you had the Akron niggas coming over there doing doing they um sets. The fucking um the Cleveland niggas coming over there doing their sets, and you had the the Pittsburgh niggas already in there. I felt like I was like. Not in America type <laughs> shit Like the way they dress The way they, the way they, they was talking I felt like I was just Not in America Like I felt I was in another world Type shit So I, I know what you saying bro I know exactly what you saying Like that shit type scary Like It's like you leave your home It's like Yo what the fuck Like That's, that's why That's why I, I ain't gonna lie I can't knock niggas When you get that fan base Outside your zone yeah. I understand why you stay there. Yeah. Because it's like, yo, this is totally different from being loved in Jersey mm-hmm. than being loved in fucking, even though it's PA Pittsburgh. Yeah. Or just being loved in Philly. It's Not fucks with to- Pittsburgh, yeah, it's too. just a different feeling. Like, that's why these niggas, that's why niggas in, like Wiz and them move to California. Mm-hmm. It's like, yo, that's a different feeling. Like, yo, they bumping my shit like I'm from here. Like, they going out there to work to push their shit out there because nobody bumping their shit out there. I, but I, when I first listened to Wiz, I thought he was from Cali. I did not know he was from, from Pittsburgh because of all of the weed smoking shit. I thought he was from out there. The only reason why I knew he was from Pittsburgh, because in a lot of his earlier music, he said it. That black, that black it, and yellow was yeah, certified. That's the like, one, yeah, yeah but, that was the one. But like, he always like shot it out because I listened to Mac Miller and they shot it out the exact same way. Yeah. But now, you don't, if you don't know, you just don't yeah. know. That nigga do not let you know that's where he from. I don't know. I mean, black... Yeah, he, he like, yo, they gonna be like, where you from? Like, nigga, listen to black and listen yellow, bro. Listen to black like, and yellow, my nigga. Like, <laughs> listen to black and yellow. And mind that's you, I wasn't, aware, I wasn't even a whiz. I'm not nah, even a big... I was a whiz fan. No, I wasn't a big fan of that song. Yeah. So, me not seeing the video... I never knew that it was Pittsburgh. I just knew I knew he was saying black, black and yellow. You thought I was yeah. like a gang or something. Nah, I just thought it was some shit. Cause remember, Lil Wayne remixed it and did the green and the, yeah, you see the what fucking I'm packages. But and then shit. I seen a video and I seen the towels. I'm like, oh, this nigga 
That's for the Steelers. <laughs> <laughs> but just hearing it, I'm like, because him, I'm like, what the fuck? What, but, this nigga Latin King or something? Like, <laughs> yeah, what? You know, like, this nigga Spanish. Like black shit, niggas in Latin King. <laughs> Sir, that shit is crazy. Nigga, probably 25% Spanish or some shit. All right, so <laughs> I got another question. I ain't even going to go global. We're going we gonna, to we gonna keep it here and move outward. All right. Right now, if you know a person to be like, hell yeah, I'll do the song with them. What's, the, what's the artist you want to work with? Hella niggas, bro. Like, damn, who I want to work with? You know what the thing is with me? I work with a lot of, like, underground, like, I know we underground right now, but, like, yeah. underground, underground, like, I already did some shit with um, Rockstar Nova. Mm -hmm. I want to do some shit with her again. Um, who else? Um, what the fuck? This hella niggas chicken. This hella niggas, bro, like, I got they... They phases in my head, but I don't got their names. Like, it's really hella niggas, bro. Like, what's the nigga that be, um, he be producing? He did something for, um, he in Jersey. Big nigga, bald. Uh, he be over in New York networking like crazy. He be putting, he be putting like crazy names together and they be doing tracks. I want to work with him. I can't get his fucking name out. Yeah, DJ? Yeah. Swill B? Yeah. Yeah, Swell B, Swell B. That's what I said. There's only one person I can think of that be doing that yeah, shit. Yeah, shout yeah. out Swell B, yo. I want to work with him, Chicken. Uh, that's about it right now. Them the main two? Them the main two. Them the main two. No, I, I said Nova, Rockstar Nova. Yeah. Um, I want to work with that. I want to work towards that scene, like... I don't know if you know about the Vlad, the 1400 shit. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, like, um, like them niggas. I be, I be in tune with some of them, you feel me? Like, I, I did some shit with um, Nino, me and Chiba. Shout out Chiba. I don't know if you know him. He an artist, too, in Jersey City. He be going crazy. So, like, that whole scenery right there, like, I'm trying to, like, you feel what I'm saying? Work with that. I feel like, I feel like that's my, that's my stage. That's my lane, you feel me? I like the, I like the turn up shit a lot. Like I like I went to a lot of like um like like I went to a lot of shows with like a lot of mosh pitting going on and shit. Oh man, I've been to one. No, I've been. To I like the energy. They yo, be crazy, wilding. They crazy be wilding. Part, they mosh part. They they mosh pit to anything. Yeah, niggas, this niggas. Shit, that's why I love it. Yeah, niggas that's, that think that's you feel me. Niggas that think that's some white shit. I've seen. Literally, nah, go to Rolling Loud. I'm, I'm not. I ain't even go there. Watch where I seen mosh pits at. Rolling Loud. I, I seen a mosh pit at a Joey Badass concert, a Schoolboy Q concert, a Kendrick concert. This the one that's gonna fuck you up. Jay Z had four of them shits when he had Jay Z. Jay Z had four fucking mosh pits, mosh pits? in one shows. Huh? Shout out my nigga Jay Z. <laughs> we was sitting. There. I wasn't on the floor, but like I was like the seat. Like I, I'm right here, but I ain't, I don't like the floor view. Yeah. So I'm looking. And he did, um, you know his album Magnum Carter? Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know the, the the Beach is Better song? Yeah, Magnum That's Carter, what, Holy Grail. He did, like, 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 it'd be like, he even did that him and Beyonce shit, because I went to their show too. Like, when the shit go like, um, girl, why you never ready? Like, they he, they open the shit up, and then when the bass drop, they just go crap. I'm like, that's a Jay-Z show, like. Bro, <laughs> it was a mosh pit. It was at one show, like, dude was wilding, like. He jumping off the walls type shit. He jumped off the stage and drop kicked somebody. And it's like they all and, and it's like, like like it's like me drop kicking you, pick you up, we dap it up, and we start wilding together. Like, nah, but the ones I don't like though, them shits when they be like just popping on like, niggas that ain't in the mosh pit. Like, <laughs> niggas just like, run down, steal a nigga, and go back to dance. And it's like nigga get capped and he like they, niggas looking at him like that's the mosh pit, that's bro. The that's the mosh pit. pit. Like ah, nigga that's, ain't fucking me? Don't jump in this shit, bro. bro. You try to get capped, like <laughs> nah, bro, yeah, nigga cap me. Yeah, yo, no, music no. got stop, lights got come on. Niggas got get it. <laughs> we shakes. gotta get it. Nigga, what the fuck is you talking about? Nigga. Shit, you cap me. I'm saying, telling what's gonna fuck happen. Bro. <laughs> no fucking telling, bro. Yeah, I, yeah, I agree a hundred percent with that shit. Yeah, but yeah, that's but to answer your question, yeah, I like that's who I want to work with. That 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 lane right there, like you feel me. So you so 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 you wanna 
you want to come to the show and just it's just live for I an hour. Turn up, bro. Like I want to turn up, and I just want that energy to be received, like and just go crazy, bro. Just bro. all right. So have you ever have you ever felt that from the crowd, and have you have not felt that? It's this shit crowd? called um I forgot what city is. It's called Dingbats. Okay. I did a performance there, and that shit was crazy. Like niggas was wild and like going crazy. I did another show in New York, Lower Manhattan. They was wild at Marsh Pit. You feel what I'm saying? I'm I'm on stage doing what I got to do. They just going crazy. Pittsburgh. Shout out Pittsburgh. Mm-hmm. I fucks with Pittsburgh. Heavy. They showed me like the most love. And it's always crazy when you go out of town. That's that's who show you the most love. That's who always going to show you the most yeah. love. Yeah. Because you know, they don't they, know you. Yeah. I was just about to say that. Niggas in Jersey, they be like, oh, simple. Oh, the school with him. I know. I see him uh, drive around. So I'll be seeing him. But yeah, shout out Pittsburgh. That whole, that whole scenery. But yeah, that's that's what I want to do, that Mosh Pit and shit, bro. Like I tell niggas like I tell niggas like this, like I can know you all day and act like I don't like my brother said here before. Actually mm-hmm. my brother is the music. Like when you watch a whole episode in the golf, yeah. That's my brother's music. Okay. I when I when my brother rap, I tell him like, yo, son, stop sending me that shit, bro. Cause I like to enjoy it. Cause I I like your music. And I'm a how can I explain it? I'm an honest nigga. That's 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 the nigga like, you want. Like, like, like that. But what I mean, honest, like, my Don't brother, no my yes brother will sit right here and play his whole tape. He'll be like, yo, what you thought? Yo, them two songs is fucking garbage. Sometimes he listen. Mm-hmm. Sometimes he be like, nah. Take it to heart. And then come back to me like, yeah, man, them shits, them shits ain't doing too good. I'm talking shits was ass. Because I always tell people, friend or not, I'm going to talk to you how I want to buy it. Mm-hmm. Because every time I stream it, I support you. Mm-hmm. It's a million artists out there across platform. I mean, different genres, all over the fucking world. I don't listen to that shit. Mm-hmm. Like I'm looking at all these people put their top fives up and shit like that. Yo, it's a lot of them niggas ain't in, a, a song ain't in the fucking repertoire for the whole year. So I'm looking at it from my ears, but like everybody posting them shits now too. Yeah, but people don't look at it like all right. I'm not a big fan of drill music, mm-hmm. and the only reason why I'm not a big fan of drill music because I feel like the instrumental sound the same. I don't give a fuck that y'all all doing the same thing. I agree with you. It's that, not to cut you off, it's that, and it's like, you don't really, you're not really learning nothing. I like the, nah, I'm trying, I'm not trying to sound like some old head song, like some, nah, I'm you not, ain't sound like no I want, I want, I want, I want gain something from your music, like, I want to get out here and be like, I did this because um this nigga expired me type shit, like, when you say drill music, it's just drugs, killing niggas, and. Nah, it's a, this, this, this. <laughs> This is why I'm not mad at you knocking it, because one day we was we was all talking or whatever, and I like to fuck with like as a joke, like I like to fuck with the '80s rap. Like I used to be mm. like, man, that shit wasn't hard. And they used to be like, what? I said, niggas used to be like running down, and I'm getting up, and I'm running to the show. I seen my man's. I said, hey, yo, yo, we got a dollar for the show. I said, that shit's not hard, <laughs> bro. So I make that joke to them. I be like, y'all be listening to that drill shit too. They be like, ah, oh, hit this nigga. Go. I said, y'all niggas be sitting there like thirty on my waist, and I'm gonna get it. Hit that nigga face, and I'm feeling. I'm like, all this shit is a bunch it's of freestyling, right? Bro. Bro. It don't even. So, but 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 if Ray was here, he'd tell me I'm fucking bugging. And I'm making no. And I granted it's man good, Ray K man because you couldn't be here right now, bro. Ray K, you supposed to be here. You ain't here right now, man. And granted, it's some niggas. It's some niggas that do that shit that I like. Like I'm a big Favi fan. Like I'm a big Favi fan. I got a couple of his shits in my phone. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, some of that shit I just be sitting there like, what the fuck? Yeah, like yo, yo you gonna do like like if I can hear that this is the same. Base pattern, you'd be like, "Holy this, shit, like this, this shit was." This, out. Like, yo, there's no way a nigga give you thirty beats and you go, "I don't hear the difference." Yeah, n- n- nigga, there's no all. difference, my nigga. Dude, At all, it's thirty of the same fucking. But then the niggas who like that shit are the same niggas who used to let Rick Ross slide with talking that boss talk over the same instrumental. Because Rick Ross has many songs that's th- that sound the same. Him and Lil Wayne got a hit record on John. And he has his own hit record with uh, I'm Not a Star. That's the same beat. It's the exact same fucking. The same different shit. It's probably the same producer. It's the same beat. Then he got the the the, the radio make it, the radio make it even clear for you. He had Nine Piece and Blowing Money Fast, and they used to play it together. Sound exactly the same. Exactly. You could but, say that about um, 21 Savage old shit. Yeah, I argue that. The shit with him and Metro? Because Metro damn near made the scene. I like this first name. one, though. 
Yeah, No Hearts 2 was crazy, though. I think that nah, was. Nah, it was. I, think it, that was the, I don't that know. Was it just, I don't know. It's it's something about that first reaction for me that make niggas stick. Why you, what do you say? With the red option? Yo, that shit was crazy, yo. Like, it's just something about, like, 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 when I first heard Five Year, it was Big Drip, and I've liked them ever since. The redundant same beat shit is why I never became a Pop Smoke fan. Yeah. Because that first tape, I listened to it, and I was just like... It's a lot of niggas that's trying to sound like pop, too. Yeah, not now. But when he first, first, first dropped, and it was Welcome to the Party, then Dior, and I'm like, yo, y'all niggas can't hear these the same beats? The same Like, the exact beats. same beat. But they used to argue with me, like, nah, I know it ain't. You don't know what you're talking about. That's pop. I used to be like, all right, bro. That's why you listen to my I Want the World shit is, is different shit. It's different beats. That's why I told you you can't, like, really put me in one category, bro. Because I, I, like... It's crazy how 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 in the beats I am. It's crazy that okay. I don't make beats my damn self. You feel me? Because right. I'm very specific with beats. Like, I don't want no regular shit, bro. I want some shit that you don't normally hear. I give you that, man. I give you that. But I'll tell you one thing. You consistent and you work hard. Respect, and respect. when we do Cap and Facts soon, I'm, I got a question for that because you was very consistent. I was telling Ray that shit. I was like, yo, bro, send me music. He sent me music like I'm a part of his fucking team. I was like, yeah. <laughs> Ray was like, word, I said, I swear to God, but just be in the DM, like, boom. He don't even ask me to share it. He I just, got you some shit. Uh, 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 nah, just listen, bro. I'm a genuine nigga, bro. Like, ain't I'm not doing shit for the exposure, bro. I, I really want niggas to fuck with my shit, bro. And fuck with me as a person, you feel me? Like, that's it. I ain't gonna lie, I fucks with you to the max, man. Appreciate I fucks it, with man. you. I fucks with you and I support you to the point where it's like. Yo, I even tell other niggas, like, yo, work with them, yo. Like, this nigga's fire. Yeah, I get out. Right, I'm going to check him like, out. Wow. They probably don't do it, but it's the simple fact of, like, you know, if you if you see a nigga, you ain't even got to like it. Mm -hmm. But if you see somebody working hard at it, that's the least you could do. Because talent, talent. I mean, but is, how they say it, bro? Fucking. Well, fuck it. We about to get into it right now. Just because you said that. I'm going to do Cap and Facts now instead of at the end. Hard work beats talent. Out that was the first yeah. Cap and Facts. So this is what we going to do. We going to do it now since you jumped right, to the question. Right. You feel me? Because I was going to do it at the end, right? All right. So we played Cap and Facts, right? Mm -hmm. And since you jumped into it. Let's get got it. got two questions. Let's get it. I mean, you got a question. Cap and Facts. There is no neither or both. So Let's you got to say, you got to explain. as the Cap and Facts. Right. Hard work beats talent. Facts. Here we go. Why do you feel that way? Because if niggas see you you working every day, they gonna want to work with you, bro. Like, but me, mm -hmm. me personally, I move off both. You uh. feel me? I move off both. Like I see you working, but I gotta fuck with your music. I'm not just gonna work with you because I see you working hard. Like, yeah. You should gotta be hard. You feel me? I respect. But she I agree with that. And you in the stew all day putting that bullshit out. Yeah, but I gotta sit there and go through that shit, bro. That shit is torture, bro. All right, second question. Writing it or recording it? You mean like freestyling? Yeah, like some people like the good, like you got the Migos, and then you got niggas who take their time. Like, like Polo G. Yeah. Po I, heard, I remember Polo G saying he write all his shit. Yeah, they got niggas that take their time. Yeah. Um. I Again, I say both. It depends on what mood I'm in. Like, if I'm in the in spot, I'm busted, I'm drunk, niggas throwing a beat. I'm not fucking writing. Just throw me in there. I'm freestyling. <laughs> but say if I'm home, I'm chilling. You mm -hmm. feel what I'm saying? I'm just listening to beats. I'm going to sit down. I'm going to write some shit. You feel me? So, And that, I would say both. I would say yeah, both. Okay, okay. Recording it or performing it? Performing. I love performing. So it's easier to perform than record? Would you say that? Yeah. Yeah, because okay. sometimes when you freestyle, you get um, how you say it, get tongue twisted and shit. Mm -hmm. You keep yo play that back, play that back. You say that about thirty fucking times. You ever seen finesse episode? Nah. Yo, finesse set right here. He bought his own instrumental and anything, and was freestyling. I bought it back for him like four times, but when he caught it, he's going that crazy. Nigga was going crazy, like straight through, like no stopping. It was just like he kept going. Uh, 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 uh. He's like, yo, run it back. Then he like, yo, don't edit my shit when you post the clip. Post the fuck ups. Yeah. I want them to know I'm freestyling. He caught it. He ran with it and went crazy. I'm like, damn, you got it. <laughs> I, that's another nigga too. I want to work with finesse. Finesse. Yeah, he definitely do. Yeah. As soon as he see this, he gonna be like, Jizzle was on here too, right? Yeah. Dog. Jizzle recorded my his, first song. His, his oh shit. Yeah. Jizzle Jizzle video got fucked up. 
Yeah, I, so I, it was yeah, just I, audio. Yeah, y'all told it. Y'all so, said that. But he said he gonna come back though. He said he want to come back. Yeah, shout out to him, man. He recorded your first year. First song, man. He recorded my first year right there in his basement, bro. That was my first song. That was like that was like 2015. Mm. That was like 2015. Yeah, I'd love to get one of his beats because I saw the shit he did with um, what's the name? Who he's working with? Um, Jug. You know Jug. That was like his artist. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, he did a couple, couple, couple projects with him. Not even a couple songs. Did a couple projects with him. Yo, he a genuine dude. But literally, just DM him. Yeah. Like he yeah, genuine. Yeah, like he, I fuck with bro. Yeah. yeah, like super genuine. Like y'all yeah. want to beat, and then y'all niggas can just do business like that. Like, I'm a like I, I was hurt that his video fucked up because the shit he was saying was just like, damn, yo, know, like. I caught some of the shit that y'all had. Some of the clips come out. Yeah, we had the whole thing come out, but it was just the audio. Yeah. He just had his picture up on the joint, but. I really wish, like, I have put his video up as a timestamp. Mm -hmm. That's how I record it. Mm. I just use that as promo. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. And so that's why, I, but we was rushing on some shit. Like, I was running late, Ray was running late. We, went, we was trying to beat him here, and he already was he already not. Did. Uh, so I'm like, damn, da -da -da. so when we set up, hit the button, I hit time lapse, and set the fuck that's down. Stupid, bro. But it's all good, though. So, so you said you want to work with Finesse, too? Yeah, Finesse, Jizzle. That's what I'm saying. They, it's going to come as we go. It's going to come as we go. <laughs> right. Listen, I'll be, I be doing a lot of shit. I'll be running around and shit. I'll be, I'm a forgetful nigga, bro. I ain't I'm mad honest, at you, man. Bro. I ain't mad at you. All right. I got another cap effects for you. All right. Another question. All right. It's easier to give up when you don't have support. Yeah. Yeah, you think so? Even though I know niggas that gave up whistle. That's, that's facts. That's facts. That's facts. Cause everybody everybody don't got that that strong heart, you feel what I'm saying? Or that that will to just keep going regardless. You feel me? So it's gonna be and then you see niggas that's close to you, not even, you feel me? Like giving you that support, that that push. So it's like, man, fuck this shit. This shit obviously ain't it. But it is it. Mm. They they just might not be the the ones for you. Like I said, like we said, you got to venture out there. Like your fans probably so not it probably not even in your city. They probably somewhere in, in LA or Miami or you just gotta keep working, keep working to somebody here. That's how that's how it is for me. You feel what I'm saying? Like a lot of my fans be OT. Like I got I get plays like in Maine. What the, who the fuck be in Maine <laughs> listening to me? I can show you right now my fucking my shit on, on Apple Music. Maine, like Miami. My shit in Australia. I was soup last Yo, night. That's, I seen bro, that shit. I saw some shit in Italy. I was like, yo, Boy, shout out Italy. I don't give yo. a fuck if that's one nigga. Like, yeah. Playing my shit out there. I fucks with that, bro. Italy stand up. Italy baby. stand the fuck up, man. Sicily to be specific. <laughs> shout out y'all, man. All right. Um Cap Effects. Giving up before really giving it a chance is most people down for. Giving up before giving it a chance is like, most people down for. Like how you say yeah. Yeah, you do music, you record one record, be like, yo, it ain't work. Fuck it, I'm out of here. But yo, you ain't really give it a shot. You ain't shoot no video. You ain't. That's a fact. You shot that shit in the basement. I mean, you, you record it on a bad mic. Like you. Sometimes you got to take into consideration like that. Like, come on, bro. You ain't get the best shit. Like, don't be so down on yourself. You feel me? And if you feel that passionate about your shit, then pay that extra money to get some good quality. That's how I am. Like I ain't yeah. high for everything, especially with coming my music. Like, I want top notch. I don't. I don't settle for nothing less. Like I've been there. I ain't trying to stay there. I ain't mm. trying to go back there. I want top notch every time. All right. So this is this is this your last cap effects since you just threw it in there. So now I had to do it now and shit. I right. do it. Um, you need visuals sometimes to help your record. Need visuals a lot. That's a fact. Okay. Need visuals a lot. People need to see you. I learned that the hard way. I did this podcast for two years with no audio. I mean, with no video. It was just SoundCloud. It was all streaming platforms. Pete, I built the fan base, my nigga. I built the fan base. Cause That's that tough. Shit, and, and, and I'm going to fuck your head up. When did you see this to reach out? Jizzle shit. Jizzle shit, right? No, finesse shit. Because finesse was first. Before right. Jizzle. So finesse. We was only doing video for a year. Wow. I got my old co-host. That's, that's tough. My, my old co-host got three videos with me. He only got three, and then he relocated. Then Ray Spinner came on, mm -hmm. and September was his one-year anniversary. So y'all was on the pod. so y'all just trying to do like some radio station shit. Nah, because I looked at it like this, because of what I do for a living. Mm -hmm. For me, I looked at it like 
I deliver mail, so like that's the first time I told niggas what I do for a living. But you gonna bleep that out. <laughs> I the bleep. <laughs> gonna bleep that out. But anyway, so I Shit, do that's that. a good ass job. But fuck. Th- but this what I thought about. I love podcasters. Yeah. I don't watch them shits on YouTube. You don't? I don't have time. Mm. But I bump them all through Spotify, whatever it is. And if I do throw the YouTube video on, I got the phone like in my pocket just letting it rock. Yeah. So when I came into this, I'm like, yo, I thought about me. Mm, yeah. Like, yo, if I ain't got time to do it, if you in the studio, you ain't got time to do it. You're going to play a quick clip, da, 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 you moving around. Yeah. That's what I thought about. I did it for two years, and it was fine. Had my attraction, shit. I got I got plays out the ass on SoundCloud. That's you know tough. I mean? But then I was like, like I told you, you said SoundCloud. That's tough. And then in my mind frame, I'm like, this ain't enough. It's missing something. Then I started getting into a stream on Twitch. I started doing that. That's I want to do that shit too. That's what got me into understanding the visuals. Yeah. Because I put up gameplay without me in it. Then I put up gameplay with me in it, talking da 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 da. It, it hit different. Yeah. So then, I'm a research buff. I taught myself all this shit. Nobody, like, I don't know, not not one, I ain't tapped not one nigga like, yo, yo, where you get your light? Nobody helped me. Damn. The only thing Ray did, Ray taught me how to use interfaces. Mm-hmm. But he ain't even know what this was. He taught me the, the rapper way. Like, you know, plug the shit up to the computer. This is the computer. The That's shit what in the, the fuck back. I'm yeah. talking This the interface? Yeah, this do music too. This is a home tough. studio. Like, if I want to be a rapper, when we had Max up here, we played the music through this, and they rap. So this is what I'm trying to get right here. If I get this, a mic, I'm in the crib all day. I'm not coming yeah, outside. This, the, the, the two is more for that, because when they invented the one, mm-hmm. the one was just for podcasting. Yeah. But, you know, niggas is niggas, and people found loopholes and were streaming on it and making music on it. So when they made the second one, it was like, oh, nah, this is what this is for. Like, put your instrument back there. If you're a live band, nigga, you could. Nah, I got to get this shit. You feel man. what I'm saying? So, but my thing was, like, I'm a, I'm. I'm a research heavy dude. Yeah. I turned that camera on. It used to be an iPhone 10, but it clunked out on me. Mm-hmm. In the middle of one of me and Ray episodes, I got the 10. At first, I shot it with this one. I, when that was my main phone, I shot two episodes with my cousin. Yeah. It's fine. But I'm like, yo, it's too much memory getting you because this is my everyday phone. Yeah. Found my old phone. That's what we used all the way up until uh, the episode before Finesse. It broke. Damn. And I upgraded my phone and just started using that shit. Fixed my lighting, learned color correction, learned auto correction. By yourself. I learned all that shit. Like, I put a promo video up and I tagged you in it. Like, yo, is you ready? I did that shit three minutes before you, like, before, I did that shit right yeah, here. Yeah, my boy be working, man. <laughs> my boy be working. Yeah, I did that shit right here. And I learned to make this phone, you go, you'll see in 2023, but I learned to make it look like a DSLR camera. So the clip that's up look like a DSLR camera, but it's just this phone. Shout out my nigga B, man. <laughs> That goes to show you, man. School don't teach you shit. <laughs> hey, yo, word is more, nigga. Go on the internet. You feel me? It, it go te- on the internet. It teach you what you didn't ask to learn. Whatever you want to be in life, go on the internet, bro. You feel me? Now, mm-hmm. if you went in there like, yo, I want to be a teacher, school would work. Yeah. Or I want I want to do algebra and shit. Like, I want to be a mathematics. I, mean, I want to learn work. physics. But when we was going to school, look, and, and I'm older than him. So I know I didn't have shit for, like, podcasting and shit like that because it didn't exist. And he didn't have it because it just blew up. Just blew up. Now it's a nigga. Like, my son's going to get it. Yeah. Like, But it's like, he ain't going to need it because I'm here. I used to do this shit with a with a, with a, with a um, Bluetooth mic that can catch everybody at the table at one time and the laptop that I could. Took forever to load. How long you been doing this? Since 2018, April. Damn. But it just popped for me this year. Like, really took off. Like, I got episodes that did good. Like, Finesse, Finesse did good. I got episodes with just me and Ray that did good, but when we, like, yo, this yeah, is y'all, ju- y'all just started having guests too, right? Yep, this yeah. year. Finesse was the the other than the man who owned the place, experienced the brand. You know, <laughs> I'm saying that's my man. You feel me? He had got him. Hold on, up. I haven't even got it on the hat. Hold on, let me show you something. Hold this on, nigga ain't trying to promote hey, this shit, bro. Hey, I got you. I even got you on the hat, <laughs> chat. You feel me? Y'all go to uh, experiencethebrands.com, you know, get your head got to move merch or whatever you need. Yeah, and if you want to book this spot, you go to Experience the Brands for Experience 12. You feel me? It's going to be right there by that app. You feel me? But I, mean, I had to shop my boy out. You feel me? I ain't take real nigga shit. You know what? He gave me this. When we recorded the, we recorded his episode on the stage, he gave me this, right? Mm-hmm. I never took it off. Finesse came. It was fine. The day that man walked out of here... We was booked every single week until February. 
That's tough, man. Like That's when you tough. hit when you hit us up and was like, "Want to do something?" We wasn't recording in December at all. Yeah, because I just wanted to leave a month open to breathe. We do our regular ones and twos, our yeah. regular solo joint, whatever. Then I'm like, "Nah, he hit us up." So you hit us up and somebody else hit us up, and I'm like, "Nah, they gotta come." I said, Respect, I said, we got to open up December for them or whatever. Respect. You know what I mean? But he, I put this on, and it, literally, when I call him, like, when I want to book this, I'll be like, yo, is it open this date? He'll be like, yeah. One day I told him, this before you hit me. And then you hit me. I was like, yo, December 1st my last day. He was like, no, it ain't. I was like, yes, it is. He real spiritual. He heavy on, he heavy spiritual. I'm like, no, it ain't. He said, nah, bro, God got plans for you, bro. December 1st ain't going to be your first time hitting me. I double backed on that nigga. I was like, yo, I need December 8th. He was like, all right. I double back on that nigga like, yo, I need December 15th. He's like, man. I told you, my nigga, I told you. <laughs> he is like, you thought you was done? I said, nah, but I'm really not recording on Christmas, nigga. So that's it. <laughs> God, I asked that nigga, like, yo, you do voodoo? How you do this shit, yo? Yo, all that shit. <laughs> then, then he tells Ray in the same episode, yo, it's shit out there in Atlanta for you. Uh, Ray like, yo, I don't know. We just talking. Entertainment was, nah, period. Nah, but watch how I fuck him up. We get Max up here. Mm -hmm. Him and Max freestyle together. Yeah. Max run with Young and Man though. Mm -hmm. That's in Atlanta. Yeah. I know. And Max heard him rap for the first time. That was his first time. That was wrong. That my first like, time hearing him rap too. Yeah. So when Max heard it, Max was like, "Yo, what the fuck, nigga? I didn't know you go rap." And he was like, "Yeah." He was like, "That's like real." He was like, "Yeah, it's on SoundCloud." He was like, "Yo, just." And I told him, I said, "Yo, you need to reach out, holla at Max, see if y'all can do something." Yo, for real, bro. Shout out Ray, man. Ain't ain't Ray K no more, man. <laughs> Just for that. So, um, uh, your manager. Yeah. I want to say his name right. I don't want to fuck it up. World. World. I know it's more to it. That's what I'm saying. Like, so I right, world. So he was a big help in the the push to the. You ever felt like, yo? If, if you never gave me that spark, I probably would have gave up on this shit and did something else. Nah, I ain't getting world that. <laughs> <laughs> my bad world, I'm trying to get you in there, world, my bad. Nah, nah, the world definitely helped me out, though, but, like, I don't know, like, he was, like, the first one, like, like, outside, like, my friends and shit that really came up to me, like, yo, I want to work with you type shit. Like, I got you. I want to, you feel me, so... When that happened, it was like, all right, like I gotta start snapping now. You feel me? Yeah. Like, and I just started been, been snapping ever since. I, I, think, I think I think I I, I would have kept going. Like I said, twenty fifteen. That's a minute. I was going. Yeah, would have been stopping if that was the case. Ah, you got a point. <laughs> you got a point. You got well, a world, point. you that nigga, yo. Shout out world, yo. <laughs> you got a point. You got a that point. Nigga shot some legendary visuals for me, man. Ricky Tan, mm. that's out now. Me and a G. Loyalty Loyalty He really snapped Loyalty He went crazy So who come up with the idea You and him Or y'all work together We work together Like I'll, I'll hit him up I'll call him Like I'll be at work You know you just at work I'll be daydreaming and shit Like I just come like Yo I need to do this for my video I'll just do that And I'll call him Talk it over and shit Put it Put it Put it together in your world, man, we need you up here too. For real, bro. And you know another reason why we need you up here, world, because you shoot a lot of videos for artists we reached out to to come up here. Only one of them, no, two of them responded. <laughs> you know what I mean, the rest of them niggas just don't speak to us at all. But he shoot, he shoot a lot of them. You feel me? And hopefully, if I lock one of them in, you gonna get another shout out because I'll be finding their Instagram on how to spell <laughs> their damn names through him posting the video. We only come in with a list of names. Like, yo, yo, he be. I'll be talking to Ray. I'll be like, yeah, what's bro Instagram? He be like, I don't know. And then your world just pop up. Like, yo, I just shot this. I'll be like, damn nigga right there, tag and follow. World fuck. be out here working, bro. For real. Shout out the world, yo. Shout you got a dope artist right here, man. He, he He's really, he hardworking. And the hardest part about being the manager, because I tried to manage somebody, I ain't going to put him out there on Front Street, even though he don't put himself out there on a couple of episodes. But <laughs> the work ethic be the hard, I think any manager will tell you that, yo, a lazy artist is the hardest thing to be a manager for. Because you got to keep, like, motivating. It's like, all right, at this point, like, nigga, you want to do this shit or not, bro? You want to be an artist or not, bro? You want to do it or not. not. I, re, I, re, I respect you as a hard worker, bro. Like, every time I turn around, you got some new shit out. Likewise, likewise. Every time I turn around, I don't give a fuck if that shit unpolished. You'll be like, man, look, take this picture. All right, boom, that's it, put that up. Yeah, 
Yeah, I be I just be trying to put music out in any ways, like whether it be like that or like just throwing it up like off my phone, like screen record, or I actually do like a promo I can't stand or something. Screen record. It, it helps. It Every helps. time I do screen recording, they make my videos look like Chinese movies. <laughs> Like, like, cause I record the on the phone, so I, I delete it. You know what I'm saying? But when I go back, like, I think of something. Like, say, 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 four weeks from now, yeah. Think about something you said. Yeah. I go screen record it. It's perfect in my phone. Throw that shit up on Instagram. That shit, like, yeah, I was over there. I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with the video? Yeah. But then I'm watching other niggas do screen record. Perfect, yo. <laughs> like I asked my man, yo, my man's got a podcast. I asked this nigga. I said, yo. How you be using clips from back then? Because you ain't got the space. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know niggas. He be like, y'all scream. Like, one time I put, he was in my episode. My boy yeah. um, Spiller Gems. I told him the episode was out. He went to the episode and made his own clips. Because he a podcast himself. Yeah. So he just got on YouTube, did what he did, got his own clips and posted them. I'm looking at the clips like, how the fuck? I can't get, my shit look like Chinese movies. How the fuck is your shit looking like? I sent it to you. YouTube. YouTube need to fix that shit, bro. YouTube. YouTube need to fix that shit, bro. I don't man. know what it be. That's why That's why I know what you're talking. That's why I don't do it like that. That's why I just, I screen record, like, just like the audio or some shit, like, like That this. shit be making me hot, bro. Like, I'll just record that type shit while the music playing. Like, I wouldn't do, like, no video type shit, because I know how that shit going to go. That shit be making me hot. Like, it's, the first clip I put up of the episode we got out today, the very first clip I put out, Ray hit me, like, audio wowing. I looked at it like, what the fuck? Like, yo. <laughs> That's all he had is audio. Wow. I knew what he was talking about when he said that shit. We and that bitch looking like a Hong Kong flip. I'm like, all right. Niggas still watch it, though. So that's it. Shout out to y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, man. This, it's part of the process, man. It's part of the process. You're going to look back at that and laugh. Feel me? When y'all up, when you're at the top. When we at the top, man. Feel me? It's going to be a time coming, but it's coming, bro. It's going to come. It's going to come. So... Before I even let you like get up out of here, and get get back to what you was doing, yo, what's what's the plans for you? Yeah, like, I wasn't what? I wasn't doing shit. I'm going home and and going to sleep right you after. Going to sleep right after. I was at work before I came in. I'm oh, taking my shit, black. Man. Yeah, man. But let, let me let me let me let me get my two questions out. Man. I, I <laughs> nah, respect, take your time. Nah, I'm up now. I but I know once we work. leave, yeah, I got you. <laughs> so now my question to you is: Thank God I did it earlier then, so you ain't getting to that hibernation sleep, bro. That hibernation been, sleep is bitch, different. I wouldn't been this bit like a crackhead. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so what what does King Simba want from King Simba career wise? I want myself to stay hungry, man. Keep my eyes on the fucking prize, bro, and just when I get there, just give back. You feel what I'm saying? Take bring my family with me. And just get back to my community, you feel what I'm saying? Because, mm -hmm. like, I love Jersey City, but I ain't proud of Jersey City. Cause we, I respect that. Because, you feel me? So I want to I wanna be the one to come back and really change shit, you feel me? Really go on those blocks and talk to them young niggas like that, you feel me? Not, I got you. Not just be somewhere in L.A. talking about, like, oh, I, I donated money. Uh, nah, I want to go on them blocks. <laughs> I want to talk to the you face to face type mm -hmm. shit. That's what I want to do. That's 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 what I want for myself in the future. That's what uh, I want. What don't you want from yourself? Don't give up, man. Don't stay stagnant. That's what I like the hair. That's Always think outside the box, man. Never, never, never do what the next man is doing. Never worry about what the next man is doing. Just don't stay stagnant. You feel me? Don't give up. Don't fall, don't fall into that 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 cage, man. Cause you, you fall in that cage, you ain't getting nothing. But and that, what I mean by that is just like be basically becoming a product of your environment, man. All right. Last question before I let you go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> What's next musically? Shit. <laughs> yeah. The oil shit. Unless you unless you can't say nothing and you gotta shit. let it just roll nah, I out. Can say, I could I can say All some right. shit, some shit. Okay. All right, so how many projects I got coming up? I got one with Chiba, one with Tex, two with Tex. Mm -hmm. I got my own personal one I'm working on. So you can look for some shit. Well, um, what's coming up right now is me, Zay, and Tex. Okay. So shout out them. We got a project coming. After that, January, I'm aiming towards me and Chiba shit dropping. February. Some more, some more shit. Another project. 
it's just work on top of work, like you said, man. I'm just, I'm just working hard, man. I'm just nah, man. That's why I like the head. Yeah, man. Told you, word, you got you a good one right here, man. Just push that man to the moon, man. Let that man work out. I would hit the clap, but somehow my sounds are gone. So, <laughs> so I'm gonna do it manually. You feel me? <laughs> Show love to the guy. Look, look, look at that interface, bro. You <laughs> feel me? Show love. All my shit gone. You know what I mean? I'm going to show you. Nigga, it look like Kanye yeah, and shit. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> Don't play with Fucking me. beautiful, dark, twisted fantasy. You feel me? But you want to thank King Simple for coming through here, showing Appreciate love, you, man, man. and coming at the work. Nigga over me, here yo. tired as motherfucker. Yo, you sleepy as shit. But thank you for I coming. I don't look tired. <laughs> Like but I told this nigga, as soon as I, I know exit that this room, I know that overnight. You feel I'm me? going straight on. I know that overnight. No stops. The better the cheddar, the better the watch. The better the watch. You fit a description. Watch your head in the drive. Ahead of my time. I'm never gonna stop. I'm what they've been missing.